Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're going to do some bubble tea, or boba tea? Boba tea, sorry. I mean, I say we, Natalie's basically going to be doing it because I hate bubble tea, boba tea, whatever the hell it's called. You don't. You like the no, pretty ones. I know, oh, well, I, I like the wee, the wee popping balls that are in it, but I don't I don't like tea or anything like that, so basically Natalie's going to be your chef for today. Uh, love bubble tea. It's Aye. one of my favourite things when I brew past the shop. Stop. Just... What do you think of Natalie's hair? You like it? She decided to just go blue, to look like joy, stroke sadness, stroke... Hades. Well, maybe maybe no Hades, but I'm <laughs> sorry you were saying. I just love bubble tea so much. It's all the gist is what I was saying. Ah, it's cool. So we're going to show you the wee box here that Natalie's got with Boba Tea. It's called Boba Life. Right? So, Father Rose hit me up with these. And so you get this box, it comes with... So... There's a few different flavour varieties and they all come with like three and there's some instructions here but they're not very comprehensive so I, I googled and YouTube a, a bunch of ones to watch how to make yeah, it. Yeah, wait a minute, how cool is this wee guy? He He's does, just loving it, isn't he? He does look fantastic. So, this is taro milk powder. This is my favourite flavour whenever we go to any... So what is that? What's taro? Is that just the flavour of it? Yeah, the flavour is taro so it's right. like a root, almost like a potato oh, but right, it's okay. sweet it's just purple in colour that's a wee look see if we can see it oh hi let me have a wee smell see if it smells sweet so it tastes like biscuits I find I mean it, it smells nothing like biscuits Um, this also comes with matcha I'm not a massive fan of matcha but I'm gonna try it but I've not actually opened it yet so matcha tea is like the green tea that you get sometimes that the Chinese people mm -hmm. mix it in their wee which will be Balls. horrible. Also, do you get a ticket? They send you their wee yeah, cups as well. You, Pretty cool. They send you some cups and some straws. By the way, is this stuff like a brand that you can just buy in the high street? Like, I mean, um, it's a bit like Starbucks and stuff like that. I feel so. I, I, is it? I no. don't have any in Glasgow. Or oh, anything, right, okay. But if any of you guys have these, let us know if they are like a brand that, like Starbucks. It comes with a bunch of tea bags. So we've got jasmine, we've got green tea, there's some oolong tea. Um, it comes with the actual balls, so they're tapioca balls. So I've shown these to Chris earlier, so they're quite hard and brown to start with, but once we cook them they'll go nice and jelly like. And do you want to smell them? Um I let me smell them and see what they like. They actually smell okay, they're like very faint I want to say chocolate, but I don't think it is chocolate, it's just a very faint smell. And I love milk tea, so this is a 3-in-1 milk tea powder. This isn't as tasty as I wanted it to be when I get milk tea from like the shops. It's really sweet. This is a really floral, fragrant taste, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm going to be making milk tea later, but I've just popped my own tea bags in the fridge to make my own milk tea. Also, it comes with this, so it's like lychee syrup, which is like a really sweet syrup that tastes so nice. Like, I love lychees. So you can pop that in with your tea to kind of sweeten it up instead of sugar and that kind of thing, although it is filled with sugar. It also comes with the popping ball, so that's what Chris mentioned earlier. So it came with strawberry, lime and honey. Now I've not opened any of these yet, so I don't really know what they taste like. But I do love the strawberry and cherry ones when we go buy them. Natalie also surprised me with these vegan all sorts mega bags. They are amazing. Mine is a gluten well, it's got gluten in it, sorry. And Natalie's, she just emptied all hers into this Ziploc bag, as you can see. Hers is the gluten-free version, and they're amazing, guys. Honestly, vegan all sorts. Give them a try. I think for a bag this size, which is 800 grams, was 9.99. 9.99. So it's well worth it. Um, we aren't sponsored by them or anything. It's just Natalie bought them, and we thought they were amazing. So just thought you guys could try them out. So these are your boba or tapioca pearls and inside they look a bit like fish food that you'd feed carp but they smell absolutely amazing. So we're just going to put a few into a pan. It's probably too many but I'm going to make two drinks so it's fine. And then we'll pop some boiling water in there and boil it up for 20 minutes. So you want to put just enough water to, to cover them up because the water will evaporate as it's boiling. 
but not too much water because it will soak up all the water and after 20 minutes of boiling we'll put the lid on switch the heat off and leave that for 20 minutes so it's gonna be like 40 minutes in total instead of using the milk tea that it comes with because i really like that i'm going to be making my own one so i'm going to be using this new caffeinated earl grey from the co i love earl grey not only does it make me feel like captain picard but also it just tastes amazing it's really nice and lemony and it tastes really really nice so i've never had it in bubble tea this is an experiment but i'm assuming it will taste nice so i'm just gonna brew up two bags of this into my cup and then leave it to cool down nice and cold maybe add some soy milk in and put that in the fridge for later so it's been 20 minutes as you'll see they're all a bit syrupy and gooey chris came in and was giving it all babe your your balls are burning they're not burning they're supposed to be like this and go a wee bit kind of caramelly um you'll smell they smell quite sweet so now it's been 20 minutes we turn the heat off and stick where lid on and then leave that for another 20 minutes so that's been 20 minutes so we can take this off and we are left with some lovely syrupy and cooked boba now if you're wanting to have a hot bubble tea drink which a lot of people do have i quite like a, a milk tea hot but i'm gonna have cold ones today so I'm going to pop these in the fridge, but before that I'm going to pop some brown sugar in, so let's do that. So we have popped them, I've drained a lot of the liquid out, so we're just left with the little boba. And then what we're going to do is I've got some demerara sugar. Brown sugar is best, um, that's what a lot of the, the Asian kind of side of things, it's an, an Asian based tea and they have like milk tea with brown boba sugar balls and it tastes amazing so we're gonna put loads in it's gonna soak all up and stir it in and then pop this in the fridge and I'll see you when it's ready so everything is now nice and chilled everything's all nice and cold so now it's just time to assemble the drinks. Took a few ice cubes in and then we'll pour in our tea. All over the counter. Get some milk. I'm gonna use some soy milk. Some people use condensed milk for this, which you can use, but Prepare this and then just stir it all up. So that's us finished our boba tea. This tastes really good. The boba is so good. You can do it without the brown sugar, but I prefer it with the brown sugar. And there's so many different flavours. This is one that I prefer. Taro is my favourite. Um, it's a it's not a hard drink to make, it's very easy to make, there's just a lot of footy steps and it's, it's taken about four hours to get to this point so it's not like a quick drink where you can boil a kettle and mix it up but it's really well worth it. So thanks for joining us and I hope you give it a bash too and let us know. Bye! Bye.